All right, everybody. Welcome back to another fine weekend. Um, back at the bench. And so last video I think I posted was of this uh, Domar 6400 slash with the big bore kit in there. Um, so figuring out what was going on. Um, still not sure why it was lacking compression at squish was 22 thousandths. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, numbers should have been there. It could have probably had a little bit more, um, a little bit less uh, transfer or, or shorter, shorter blow down, but it, it should have ran well. I think some of it was here's the cylinder. Um, you can kind of see in there that it wasn't necessarily yet eating itself. It would have. So, um, yeah, everything was looking fine with the, with what it was as far as the big board. Now it's 54 millimeters. It's not, and so that's kind of something aftermarket. All this is aftermarket here. Um, I could have done some, probably a little bit more work after looking at it, uh, first attempt. But some of this stuff is is an issue. Is that uh, I've used this in the past, and and uh, now that I'm coming across every one of the saws that I put. This uh, Tigon, at least it was Tigon when I bought it. See how easily it just pulls right off and it spins all around? Well, anyways, uh, I've noticed this on several of them. If you're using this as an impulse line or vacuum line, that uh, when it gets to the heat part of the cylinder, it discolors and then just pulls right off. So I was, I was obviously having an air leak that was actually growing worse and worse so that was some of the issues that I was having with this as well um, as you can kind of see so taking apart and I told you I was gonna swap it out I was actually gonna go with uh, this original one um, had uh, a couple broken fins on there I had already uh, used this as a 52 millimeter 70 uh, OE original edition uh, equipment um, 72, 7,900, 52 millimeter. Uh, this is another cylinder that came off of another uh, part saw that I uh, bought for the cases. And so that's the same, same cylinder. This one I just tanked and cleaned up a little bit. And so um, that was it. And so same, same inside. This one had a scored piston. There's that piston right there. It came out of it, scored. Um, so I was getting ready to clean up some of the transfers in here, uh, taken off. And I think that's going to clean up nice and be able to have a good cylinder. So I have two uh, cylinders I'm looking at. Uh, now this one, I did work to the top of the piston. You can kind of see uh, to do some blowdown uh, corrections there. And you can kind of see this design of, uh, of the piston, which is a little bit different than say this design original piston this is a molly this is a molly both 7900s but a little bit different piston style so interesting anyways uh this one that i had my numbers timed at was 25,000 squish with no base gasket um i had a hideous ring end gap of uh 22 thousandths uh like about half that would have been a lot nicer um, but it actually made decent compression. Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to actually use this setup. I'll show you here in a minute. But the exhaust on here, I had 103. Um, obviously, I didn't change that exhaust. I just kind of worked smoothing it out a little bit. Um, but so 103, I had the transfers uh, by modifying the piston. We're opening from... Um, at 126 and then the intake it was at 80 so those are kind of the the things that i was doing in there let's see if i can kind of get you off to the side get some light in there um yeah not much work there so anyways why am i not using this is because when i dropped it it in here you can you can see how much piston slop that is so this piston is wore out now I do have, I did place an order for some aftermarket. Um, I'm going to try go through Saw, Sawzilla and and do their um, 
pro line, you know, whichever, whatever it is. But uh, I'm going to use those guys. And so I have two pistons, one for here and one for here to go ahead and clean up and use. So it's a, a quite a bit sloppier than I want. Um, so in, in order to basically just eventually eat itself and piston slap and it'll just be annoying as I'll get out. So I still have the cylinder here is what I'll be doing. Now, what am I going to do? Let's show you the 6400. This is the original cylinder um, that was in there. Open port design, as you can kind of see. Um, 58 millimeters, obviously, is the piston. Here's uh, the piston. Uh, you know, everything is actually really good on this one. If I wanted to go back to it, I could probably go back real easily and, and use this. Um, uh, this setup, but I'm not. So where where I'm going with is uh, a while back in the process when I first picked up the 6400 and going to try to increase the size here. Um, what I did is is I, I found a 7300 and I missed uh, seeing what it was like. But there's my OE equipment right there. You know, looking at it and checking it out, this cylinder is a little different even though it's a 50 millimeter cylinder oe molly brand new um there you are it's it's actually a 50 millimeter um piston so it's closed port it just looks like the 7900 right everything looks good um it's actually seems to have a little bit smaller combustion chamber in there but let's look at what i have to do i already had to start uh clearancing the fins off of here as you can kind of see and here's some lines that i'm going to have to clearance some again so let's see if we can get this uh showing you how um some of these interferences now there's also modification that i'm gonna have to do because the plug is more straight up and down as you can kind of see versus angled in here now, when we put it up, and let's put up uh, this OE cylinder, you can kind of see across the top, they're, they're a lot taller, right? There's a lot more fins here. So anyways, um, I got this to where I, I just got a little bit more clearancing to do, uh, cutting some fins off and that kind of thing. And then I'll go ahead and, and change my numbers. The numbers on this timed out at it's, they're, they're kind of interesting on the number situation. Um, what did I have? I had, uh, times no base is 15 thousandths, no gasket. If I have a gasket, I'm going to put on there and that actually will get me to 27 after I squish everything down 27 thousandths, so I'll be using a base gasket. Um, exhaust is 110, transfer is a 134, intake is 77. So I won't have to do much to the intake, if at all. I think I might keep that around there. I will do, be moving the transfers quite a bit and then the exhaust. I'm going to try to shoot for 101 on there uh, for this. So, anyways. That's kind of what we're looking at as far as the cylinders go and how much difference they are side by side, those kind of things. You can kind of see the differences. Now, the other differences that I'll have to do is on the side here, um, I already have an idea of how to mount, uh, cut a block, put it in here in, in the fins here where they're at, and then put a drill hole and, and I'll be able to to modify that. I'm going to have to put something in here like this to where I can actually utilize uh, uh, tapping, drilling and tapping so the, the spring handle will work. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to work. <laughs> we'll see on that, right? So so as we can kind of go, uh, I'll be plugging the decomp hole. So um those are kind of some of the interesting exciting things the differences to um a cutoff saw 7300 cylinder for domar and some of the differences and and yes the cover will have to be modified when it sits on here um i'm going to have to uh, do a more slotted a 
event up here. So uh, people might cringe at that thought. Uh, if I don't get it done, I do have some, some pistons coming and I might just uh, swap it in there. Now, one other thing, the piston off the 7300, as we can kind of see in here, um, here's your, your stock one, uh, 7900. It is just a shade shorter. As you can kind of see, it's just a little bit shorter. And you can kind of see the lines right there is where I just etched it just a little bit. And I am so close to free porting. And this is without, out, without a base gasket. So, ah, uh, there. I cannot lower the exhaust any. Um, because I will free port if I use the 7300 50 millimeter piston and cylinder. So, anyways, I thought that was some interestingness here. Um, of course, this is the big bore 5400. It's a substantially heavier piston than in here. And then if you wanted to understand why, let's show you the difference one more time in piston piston clearance and slot so I'm rocking it back and forth and you got very very little movement in here little bit not like not like that you can kind of hear it very much so that's what's driving me to use this cylinder even with all the modifications that i have to do um i think it's still going to turn out so anyways hope you enjoyed that wish me luck and seeing how this uh this will go all right later till next time